Hey, what's going on everybody? David here back again with another video. Today is a great day. So much so that I had to wear my Houston Astros Infinity Stones hat today. I have here a box of 2024 Marvel Flare trading cards. As you can see here. My God. Like, this is amazing just to have in my hands right now. So, so cool. Um, I have not broken open a box of trading cards since I was like 10 or 11. Uh, something like that. So this is pretty exciting to me. Quick story. Um, when I was about 10 or 11, I used to help out at a comic shop. And um, my task was to get the cards out of the case, out of the the boxes out of the case of cards and open them up and set them up for display uh so that way they're ready to sell and then i was also uh they gave me the job of opening up some of these cards uh and checking them out and and, and seeing if there was any nice hits in there um and so that was pretty fun and my payment was i would get eventually uh, whenever they would open up a couple of boxes or if somebody got doubles, I would end up with a base set of cards. Uh, so that's how I ended up with so, so many comic cards as a kid. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you were to tell 10, 10 year old me that I'm going to that I would be helping promote, uh, you know, Marvel Flare, uh, thanks to Upper Deck, I would say you're lying. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. Um, as you can see here, fantastic cards. Oh my God. Like just the box itself. I cannot wait. The back here, if you can see some of the cards here that are just given as examples, it's good. I already know these cards are going to blow me away. It's been so, so long since I've had like a new box of cards. This is a hobby box. Uh, a new box of cards to open. This is a moment for me, <laughs> like to be perfectly honest. Um, and uh, yeah, this is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Here's a quick glimpse on what to expect out of one of these boxes here. There goes a 90 card base set featuring all original art. It says Discover Artist Autograph Cards. Nice. A 60 card Flarium Insert Set. Those are really cool too. Hope to get some of those. Oh, and they have artist autograph versions. Some Power Blast, Power Blast Light FX cards. There's some Iridescence cards. 30 original art piece Chromium cards. Really cool. Splintered Facade and Pin Flare. These look to be probably, these are probably going to be some of the harder ones to pull. Hopefully we, hopefully we get one. Badge Flare and Solar Flare. 40 Rainbow Foil character cards. Badge Flare, manufactured patches designed from iconic comic book corners. And there we have Acrylic Ether, acetate card showcasing all-star Marvel artist character work. Oh, those look cool. Captain Marvel and Rocket. Those are probably going to be hard pulls as well. Ah, here's crossing my fingers. Canonical Blast, 100 timeless moments of Marvel history on rainbow foil board. Really nice. Here's the chase hits there. Box hits on average. Okay, carved, engraved plexiglass cards to showcase famous inking line work of classic Marvel characters. Oh my God, if we get one of those. So this is just a quick look to see what could be in the box. So yeah, like I said, um, it's been quite a while since I've opened up a box of cards just like this. But as you can see, you see Galactus here, uh, Mystique, as well as Wolverine right here on the front of the box. On the back of the box here, again, another uh, quick look at the sample of what to expect, hopefully, in this box. Again, hopefully some really good hits. Um, and then if you want to pause there, you can get a closer look at the, uh, the odds of what kind of cards you could possibly get throughout a hobby box. All right. Ah, so there's four cards per pack, 
12 packs per box. This is super exciting. Let's go ahead and start opening this up here. Oh man, just the, the feeling, the anticipation is is crazy right now. It's real, it's super real. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up here. Oh man, so here it is. And then with these boxes, you would, I guess, bust it through the perforation here and then set it up for display. As you can see there. Oh man, okay. So here we have the packs. Fantastic looking so far. Again, big shout out to Upper Deck for sending these over to to uh, to check out and feature here. Open up pack number one. Let's see here. All right, let's put these over off to the side here. Oh, man. First up, we have Captain America. Oh, man. Really love this artwork here. Fantastic looking. Love the quality. You can see here, it does have the artist right here, Ben Brady. Ben Brady. And then the original publication artist right here, David Eaglesham. Fantastic. And this is a, a cool base card. Fantastic. Let's put this right over here. Next up, we have Beta Ray Bill. Oh, my God. Super cool. Love this. Yes. Stormbreaker there. There goes the artist there on the back. This is number 43, another base card. Love, love that. And I love the fact that they, they're putting the artists on the back as well. Because that's one that was one of my favorite things, is seeing the art of these amazing cards. Fantastic. Next up, we have a canonical blast oh, of Thor. Fantastic. I love these. And this is a CA3. I believe this is one of the, the harder pull ones, I believe. CA3. Jesus. Looks super nice. That one's going in a sleeve. All right. And then we have a Flarium Captain America. Oh, all right, so I remember this scene specifically. This is uh, when uh, he got shot, when he died on the step that had the death of Captain America. Artist on front of the card, David Palumbo. Pub original publication artist, Steve Epting. Really nice, FT43. Love this, nice. Nice first uh, first pack of cards. Let's go ahead and open another one here. These are a little harder to open. Let's see here. All right. So as a kid, I used to always at least keep one, one uh, sleeve here. So let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a Kang. All right, we're going to be seeing a lot of this guy soon. Let's see here. Here goes the back. Love this. Awesome. All right. Next, we have Doctor Strange. Again, this artwork, just all this original artwork is amazing to me. And that was one of my favorite things about all these Marvel trading cards, especially the ones back in the day. Oh, so cool. This is number eight. So, so cool. Doctor Strange. And here we have Power Blast Cable. Really cool. Oh, man. I love, love, love this. 
fantastic reflective uh, artwork here. Nice. This is PB5. And this is original art here. There goes the artist. Gilberto Martimiano. Love this. That artwork is amazing, by the way. God. All right. And then we have a Spider-Man Flarium with the black costume. Really, really cool. And there we go. Secret Wars number eight. This is the original publication artist and the artist on the front of the card. Megan Hetrick. FT35. Love that artwork. All right. Open up another one. So far, so good. I feel like we've been going pretty good with these sets or with these packs so far. Oh, cannot wait. Okay. Let's see here. First up, we have Cersei right here, part of the Eternals. We have number 56, base card. Oh man, so nice. Again, this is, it's been so long since I've seen like newer Marvel trading cards. I'm like, I'm taken aback to be honest. These are so, so cool. And it's so satisfying to see just new original artwork. Here we have Phoenix. Oh, that is amazing artwork. I think this might be one of my favorites so far. Fantastic base card. Oliver Harbour, artist on the front of the card. There's original publication artist as well. That is a beautiful Phoenix right there. Lovely. And we have a solar flare. A Cyclops. Oh, check that out, man. So cool. And then here we have the back here. This is SF23. Really, really nice. That is a nice shot of Cyclops. And I love that, that solar flare effect in the back. Oh, so, 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 so super cool. And then next up we have a Flarium. The X-Men. This is a nice group shot. And mind you, I do love this iteration of the X-Men as well. The all new, all different X-Men. He was an artist on the front of the card, Tom Morgan. Original publication artist, Dave Cockrum. Giant size X-Men. FT7 is this card. Fantastic. All right, man. I don't want this to end, to be honest with you. God. We're, we're, we're only like a couple of packs down. We're three packs down. This is the fourth one. Let's see if I can... Open up this one here. They're getting harder and harder to open up. All right. Let's see. First up, we have Taskmaster. That's an awesome Taskmaster, by the way. And then this is another base card. This is number 74. Artist on the front of the card. An original publication artist. Love this. Really cool. All right, next up we have Thing. Really nice as well. And then here we have both artists there. This is base card number two. Nice. And here we have a canonical blast. Of Venom. This is a nice card. Oh my god. I love this. So, so cool. C 
CS7, as you can see right here. I think this might be one of the, the harder to pull ones. I think it's like one in 16, I believe. Man, that's nice. That is really nice. And then we have a Flarium of Thanos. Or as my mom likes to call him, Stanos. <laughs> really cool. Love that artwork as well. And there goes the back there, FT30. Both artists right there. Really nice. All right. Oh, man. All right. This is like, it's starting to get like real, um, as my son says, real, um, man, real nervousing is what he says. Or used to say, let me see if I can just cut this open real quick. Sorry to keep y'all waiting. Okay, there it is. All right, so let's go ahead and open this pack here. First up, we have Storm. As you can see here. Nice. I'm trying to do this to surprise myself as well, because I'm not looking over to my, to my right. Um, I'm looking through the camera here. Fantastic artist on front of the card and the original publication artist as well. This is base card number 37. Love that. Love that artwork. All right, next up we have Hobgoblin. Ooh, that, that is a nice Hobgoblin. Good God. The detail on that is amazing. And there goes the artist. And the original publication artist as well. This is base card number 79. So I'm pretty much uh, under the assumption I'm not going to get a full base set in just this one box. But what I've pulled so far is pretty amazing. I mean, I'm there's no complaints here. This is It's a pretty amazing uh, box so far. Here's another solar flare. For Captain Marvel. I love these. These are really, really cool. Nice shot of Carol Danvers right there. This one is SF2. Man. Like, I'm really, really super blown away. Upper Deck, you guys got some fantastic artists. And amazing, amazing cards. I'm like kind of flipping out right now. And then we have the Flarium of Electra. Man, right there against Bullseye. This is FT25, original publication artist, Frank Miller. And then the artist in the front of the card right there. Oh, man. So, so cool. All right. Next pack. Come on, come on. Let's see here. Let's see if I can just cut it. All right. So here we have another pack here. Oh, man. Okay. All right. First up, we have Icarus right here from the Eternals. This is a nice shot. I don't think I've ever seen this artwork like this before. Beautiful, beautiful art. And there we have the artist there, both artists. This is base card number 55. And then we have one of my very favorite and underrated characters, Moon Knight. <laughs> Love that artwork there for Moon Knight. This is base card number 31. The artists are there as well. Man. And then here we have an iridescence card. 
Whoa. Okay, and this is the artist here. This is IR7. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this is cool. I, feel, I honestly, I feel like a kid again <laughs> seeing this. So cool. I think this might be one of the rarer ones as well. I don't know. I'd have to double check. Oh, good God. That's getting stored away very carefully. And here we have a flarium. Another flarium for Thanos. This is awesome. Love this artwork here. Oh, man. John Wayshack. Oh, amazing work, dude. Original publication artist, George Perez. FT20. I'm still... Like, this is nice. Like, the view on camera doesn't do this justice at all. So cool. That's a really nice one. Okay. Next pack. Okay, let's see. I can't. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh my god, I can't open it. Alright, so I'm gonna open this. Okay. What is this? Oh my god. Badge flare for Silver Surfer. Oh, this is so cool. Whoa. That is a thick card. That is nice. Wow. As you can see there, it's like fabric. So cool. Wow. I'm floored right now. PFB 20. This is really, really nice. Oh, it looks like, I don't know, if it, it got damaged a little bit in the pack. But, oh, that's definitely a lovely, lovely card. I think it's whenever they cut cut the, the card itself because it's so thick. Wow. Oh, Jesus. All right, that's going somewhere special. And because of that this badge flare being in there and being so thick there's only one other card in there and it's another marvel flarium for phoenix love this artwork this is wow this is another amazing phoenix uh piece of art here goes There goes the back there, Simone Bianchi, the original artist, Dave Crockham, the original publication artist, FT57. Love that. All right, next pack. Come on, come on. This is like really exciting. Oh, especially after that badge, that badge flare. Okay, first up we have Ant-Man. Really cool Ant-Man here. Love this. Number 13, base card. Here's the artist there. Really nice. Here we have Black Winter. This is some nice artwork as well. Really cool storyline, too, in the comics. Right there, there's the artist, and there's base card number 85. Another solar flare for Namor, or Namor. I'm digging this solar flare, these solar flare cards. Really nice. Again, the, these ones that, that like that are reflective like this, I mean, they look nice on camera. In person, oh, it just looks way better. Fantastic. 
and Flarium for Scourge. Right here. One of my very, one of my favorite characters from uh, Thor Ragnarok from the movie. Thought he was very funny. And this is Flarium. Oh, this is FT10. Flarium number 10. And there goes the artist there. Walter Simonson, one of my favorite comic artists. All right. Next up, another pack here. Let's see here. Let's see if I can just cut this open to get us going here. All right. So. Like I said, this is pretty exciting. If you've never done like a box break before, um, it it's another kind of feeling. It is. All right. First up, we have Galactus. Right here. Amazing, amazing art. This is base card number 61. And the artists are right there. Yeah, it's another it's another kind of feeling. It's indescribable, you know. When it, when you do a, a a box break like this, it just feels different. Wolverine base card. I believe this is number one. Yep, base card number one. Fantastic here, love that. And then next up we have Thanos. Oh, what is this? Or 65 out of 299. Whoa. That is nice. A fall flare card. Okay. Number 52. So I, I believe, if I remember correctly, these are like alternates of the actual base cards. So fantastic. Oh, man. That looks really cool. That's going to go into a sleeve. And then here we have a Flarium of Dr. Doom. Now, he looks interesting without his, his robe or his cape. Really nice, though. This is FT40. The artists are right there as well. Fantastic. All right. Next pack. Oh. I mean, I don't know about you guys. Again, like I said, th this is this is just another feel. Like the anticipation of, of seeing what comes out next is is the thing that gets me. Let's see here, and man, and so far again, the, the artwork has been so beautiful, and so so amazing, fantastic choice of artists, and the artists done amazing work on all these cards. Next up, we have Spider Woman. Really nice here. This is base card 32. The artists are there as well. And here we have Hulkling. Really cool. Who is not an actual Hulk. Fun fact. And there you go. The artist, and this is base card number 86. And here we have another solar flare of Jean Grey. Cool. We, ha we have a solar flare of Cyclops and Jean Grey. Nice. And this is SF8 right here. Love this. Oh, man. Flarium of Giant Man. Now, this is awesome artwork. I love artwork like this. Really, really cool. Original publication artist, Alex Ross. One of my favorite. There's another John Wayshack card. This dude does amazing, amazing work. John Wayshack. Fantastic. All right. Oh, we're almost done. We got two, two more to go. So this is... One before the last. Let's see if we can. Let's see. Let's hope we pull something super amazing. All 
right here. First up, we have a base Doctor Doom. Fantastic. Love that. Number 50. Okay. There goes the artist as well. We have a base Human Torch. Really nice. Human Torch cards are always some of the most uh, impressive looking because of the, all the individual flames or like the flame effect that it has to get drawn in and stuff. Oh, super cool. Base card number 25. The artists are there as well. Really cool. And then here we have a power blast for Jessica Jones. That is nice. I love that artwork though too. Yeah, this is PB18 and there's the artist as well. That's a cool shot. And then a Flarium for Thor. Classic Thor there. Fantastic. And where he has that cane that he slams down and he becomes the mighty Thor. FT number five. It's the artist. Fantastic. Oh man, this is so sad. Last pack. Last pack. Oh, okay. So far, though, this has been very, very, very satisfying. Oh, my God. Like, the cards that we pulled today are some of the coolest. All right, let's go and see what we have here for the final, final pack. Here, first up, we have Squirrel Girl. <laughs> she's she's actually one of my favorites as well. Awesome. This is base card number 49. There's the artist there as well. A fantastic Hawkeye. Love that. That shot there is really super cool. Base card number 19. And then here we have a canonical blast of beast. Nice. Oh. Really, really cool. And this is CX7. That is a nice shot of beast there. And last but not least is a Flarium of Vision. That is a nice, nice portrait of Vision there. And there we have it, FT23. And the artists are there as well. Fantastic. Love that shot of Vision right there. So there you have it. I broke my first box of Marvel trading cards since I was like 10 or 11 years old, something like that. It was pretty exhilarating. Not even going to lie one bit. Like, it was pretty intense. I mean, you could probably see my, my fingers shaking a little bit <laughs> in, the, in the footage. Um, amazing, amazing set of cards that, uh, that I pulled from here. So, so cool. Very unique. Again, I, w with stuff like this, artwork is always key to me. And Upper Deck is doing a great job at getting and gathering some some fantastic artists uh on board to do these cards and again big shout out to upper deck for sending these over so i could feature here on the channel feature and showcase and i am going to be um be sure to follow me on social media all my social media platforms because i am going to be uh posting some of these cards individually to show off in case uh you you know you miss one or two or whatever um because these need to be seen like honestly and truly these are some awesome, awesome cards. Um, and uh, yeah, I just I can't wait to add these to the collection. Um, with these being some of the some of the newer artwork that I've never seen before in my life, and some newer artists that I get and you get 
to go and find out about it. And, and check out their work. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you dug it or found it informative in any way. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because I will be coming back with more videos as always. I am going to be putting some links down in the description below uh, to Upper Deck site and also where to, where to find and pick up uh, these hobby boxes uh, for these cards or where you can find these cards maybe in your in your uh, local local city but um again big thank you to upper deck for sending these over i just i literally like i said i cannot wait to add these to the collection they're gonna look so so nice anyway with all that being said we'll catch you next time